The LG F60 features a 4.5-inch true IPS LCD display and is powered by a 1.2 GHz quad-core processor and has 1 GB of RAM. It comes with 4 GB of inbuilt storage, expandable up to 32 GB via micro SD card and has a 5.0 megapixel rear camera and 0.3 megapixel front camera. It comes with Android 4.4 KitKat OS and support a 2100 mAh battery capacity with 3G and 4 Guaranis. Processor, RAM, and internal memory. The device comes with a Qualcomm 400 chipset with a 1.2 GHz processor and 1 GB of RAM on board. While some may have asked for 2 GB, 1 GB still appears to be the standard, especially since the Moto G, 2nd gen, and Samsung handsets offer an equal amount of RAM. However, times are changing since the Asus Zenfone 5 and the extremely elusive Xiaomi Mi 3 both come with 2 GB of RAM. The processor on the other hand, is the same as that on the Moto G, 2nd gen, Sony Xperia M2 and LG's own L90 Dual. In other words, it reaches the expected standard, but does nothing to go beyond. Thirdly, like each of them, there is an 8GB internal memory model available, though quite surprisingly, the alternative is 4GB and not 16GB. Assuming that the people will choose the 8GB model, it can be said that the F60 is neither better nor worse than most of the devices it takes on. The search for this device's USP must continue elsewhere. Camera, Connectivity, and Battery While some manufacturers have shifted to offering 8MP rear shooters, LG has stuck to the old 5MP standard. This may have been forgiven had the user been given superior photo quality, as is the case with the Nokia Lumia 730 and the Sony Xperia M2 and E3. Sadly, even the flagship Nexus 5 has been criticized for its average snapper, despite having a BSI-enabled lens. Surprisingly, the F60 does manage to shoot pictures of a quality equivalent to that of the Nexus 5. Further, the flash offered alongside the rear camera is powerful, while on the video front the shooter is capable of capturing full HD videos with a decent level of detail. The front camera, as expected, is a poor 1.3 MP brother of the rear shooter, but does a more than decent job of clicking selfies and providing video support for Skype, etc. Connectivity, as mentioned at the start of this review, includes 4G LTE, making it one of the few devices that come with LTE support in this price bracket. True, there are other devices which have LTE support in this price bracket, but they are usually older higher priced devices whose falling utility has pushed down their price. Considering that this product boasts of the latest features, or as latest as LG, Sony, or Samsung offers, users may well want to go for this product rather than one of last year's $400 plus handsets which have seen a price drop. Providing company to 4G LTE connectivity are the usual 2G 3G radio, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0 and GPS. Operating System Companies like Samsung and Sony are infamous for coming out with updates for mid-range devices months after the flagships. LG doesn't have a much better reputation, but considering that Android 4.4 KitKat is the latest version available today, it has a decisive edge over many of the older and better endowed devices. This doesn't mean that it will match up to the Moto G, 2nd gen, or even the original Moto G, both of which get quick updates thanks to their near stock OS design. Conclusion Hence, though the F60 is by no means a poor product, it is no trailblazer either. Its uniformly mediocre specifications in many departments do more than obscure the few truly outstanding points 4G, Android KitKat and interesting software features like knock code and gesture control. As such, while it may not be destroyed by the competition, chances are that it will become a niche handset, 
purchased by those who are making the shift to mobile 4G connectivity ahead of the others and are willing to tolerate average features in order to enjoy high-speed data and video calling facilities.